so i was looking for something that would make you feel that you were there and you were a guest you know it's an old gag in old movies a building where half the building is falling apart and a guy's still taking a shower somebody's still in front of the mirror and the building is falling apart you're getting to look at all these intimate moments because a piece of the environment has been removed so quickly that you haven't had time when i think about it i can almost see myself as being made up of thousands and thousands of little agents doing stuff almost independently but at the same time i fall back into believing the things about humans that we all believe about humans and living life that way. Otherwise, I, I think uh, if, if you analyze it too much, life becomes almost meaningless. And he, all of a sudden, he has four points of interest. He loses his original chain of thought because this agitates him. He, he can't comprehend those four points of interest. So what he does, he attacks the chair. He takes his wrath out on the chair. His mind now has been completely distracted from his original. This is the sex boundaries of understanding life by building something that is lifelike. People just come and look. You wonder what they're looking at. It's not just this little miniature Sharpay with big teeth running around in a burrow. They're looking to find if there's a common ground. Look, they're doing this. Does that mean that this is going to happen? They're carrying a baby. Watch how the mother does it. They're constantly trying to find themselves in another social animal. It's just cut and wait, cut and wait. and we're trying to do experiments in group behavior where we don't have explicit communication. It's a constant battle uh, all the time. In the ultimate form, all of this stuff is looking at other. exploring and finding of animals that had absolutely nothing to do with any control that we as a person would have. That feeling that you are in the presence of life that exists irrelevant of yourself. That's the other. And the other isn't something to be feared. You know, people are afraid of new, different, strange. But to me, it, it isn't anything to be feared. It's something to be wondered at and looked at and explored. 
perhaps uh, communicated with, not to sit down and have a conversation, but to take pictures of it and see if you can get the moment where the animal is actually looking at you and you feel that there's a moment of contact. I know you are. You know I am. It's not something that happens every day. You have to go out and look for it. This approach to building robots will eventually lead to robots as intelligent as human beings. Whether we will be able to interact with them as we interact with other human beings, I think is more open to question because it's unlikely that they will be embodied in the same way we are. They will have different physical experiences and they will be aliens to us. They constantly need repairing all the time. If you don't do that, they will get out of proportion. You can't control them anymore. Caesar! Hey! No, no, Caesar, get it over here. Over here, hey! Lay it down. Down. They represent a set of concepts and ideas that were thought of only intellectually that have now become a reality. They were a fantasy that has now become something that can be looked at. is alive and what is a machine and that boundary may start to become meaningless. On the other hand, there may still be some distinction. The zen of watching them, they have the same fascination that you would have in looking at fish in a fish tank or ants in an ant colony. It's constant movement, only it's bigger and it has more of a purpose. It's trying to figure out what the purpose is that interests me. I don't expect anybody to come in and do what I did because they don't have that experience. Hey, Sam. 